Hello everybody, today we will see about homogeneity of variance using RStudio. And uh, in statistics, a sequence of random variables is homoscedastic, and if it's all random variables have the same finite variance, and this also is known as it is homogeneity of variance. In this tutorial, I'll explain the methods for checking homogeneity of variance test using RStudio across two or more groups, and some statistical uh, a uh, test like uh, independent sample t-test as well as ANOVA test assumes that variance are uh, equal across uh, groups and there are uh, different uh, variance tests that can be used to evaluate the equality or homogeneity of uh, variance among that FDRF f test, uh, Bartlett test, Leven test and lastly the flinger kelly test are used to check whether uh, to check the homogeneity of uh, variance. So, for this tutorial, we are going to use the data that's found in our studio, that means the two grows. So, we will uh, uh, incorporate this data into our studio, and that's the structure of our data. And it contains, you see, observation here is uh, the length of the T's of the peak, and also this is the supplementary method, and it contains two levels. One is with the orange uh, juice, and the other one is the ascorbic. And lastly, the dose is uh, it is the vitamin C dose, uh, dose level, which is contains three levels. One is 0 0.5, the other is 1 and 2 milligrams. So, if you want to know the detail regarding to the uh, your uh, your data frame, so you have to type this one uh, and you have to run so it will display yes display in the right side corner of your uh, studio so this is on your data uh, frame so let's back to our business so the first one is using the f test method and mostly the f test method is used uh, only for what for uh, comparing of uh, two uh, uh, two uh, groups and the F test is used to evaluate whether the variance of two population are uh, equal or not and the data must be normally distributed in this test so to do that you have to assign a name that you want here and you have to use the function var dot test and here is the length of the t's as you see here you have to write and as explained by the supplementary methods then you have to indicate your data so that is one and run uh, and again let's print it yeah let's print it as you uh, see here the if you see the p-value here it it shows that uh, it is around 0.23 so this means that which is this means that it is greater than the uh, significance level that means 0 0.05 so in conclusion there is no significant difference between the two variants that means there is what homo your data is homo scarcity that means there is equal variance among the groups so by this way you can uh, test only for what for comparing two uh, groups using the F test so using the function var uh, dot test. The second one is the Bartlett test, and the Bartlett test is used to test if the k samples are from the population with equal variance, and uh, equal variance across population are called homoscedasticity or homogeneity of variance. And some statistical tests, for example, the ANOVA test, assumes that variance are uh, equal across groups or uh, the samples and the Bartlett test can be used to, be, to uh, verify that assumptions uh, uh, that means uh, better uh, to use when our data are normally distributed that means Bartlett tests that enable us to compare the variance of two or more samples to decide uh, whether they are uh, drawn from a population with equal variance so it must be fitting to what to normally distributed data so to do that assign any name that you want here and you have to use the function bartlett 
dot test and uh, you have to use the language the supplementary and you have to indicate here your data as described in the syntax so that this one and run so again it is the p-value is 0 0.231 still it's not significant so there is equal uh, variance or there is no means to reject the null hypothesis and the next that are going to see for this tutorial is the leaven test leaven test and leaven test is usually it's, you can get it by calling the uh, car package into your studio so the in statics the leaven test is an inferential statics used to evaluate the equality of variance for a variable to determine for two or more groups and some statistical uh, procedure finds that variance of population from which uh, various samples are formed are equal and 11 test assesses these assumptions clearly and it examines that the null hypothesis that the population of variance are equal uh, of homogeneity of variance or homo uh, and it compares the variance of the case sample and where uh, the case samples are uh, more than uh, two or more samples and it is an alternative to that of what the uh, Bartlett test and uh, comparing to the Bartlett test is less sensitive uh, to the to the departures of uh, to uh, uh, from the normality so the Bartlett is very sensitive and should be run when only your data is what normally distributed but uh, living test you doesn't care about your normality or maybe it is less sensitive comparing to that of the Bartlett uh, test so you have to call uh, the package current in your studio then you have to use a function living test and as indicate here you have to use additionally center is equals to mean so by this way if you type this one you can get uh, the p-value still the p-value is 0 0.2992 uh, and again uh, it is non-significant there is equality of uh, variance so if you avoid silently this one so automatically this will change to what to the brown frozy method and again it is the p-value 0 0.275 and there is equality of uh, variance and if you avoid that means in the previous as you as, uh, as you discussed before there is a center is a mean but if you leave it it is considered as well as the center is median so it will be shifted from the leaven to brown and frozy test and lastly the fillinger uh, uh, kellen test will be used especially when uh, uh, it is usually it is a non-parametric test for homogeneity of group of uh, variance that's based on the ranks and it's useful when the data are uh, non normally distributed or when uh, problems related to the other layers in the data set that cannot be uh, rectified or uh, resolved so it is also one of the many tests for homogeneity of variance which is the most robust against departures from what from the normality or it is usually used for non normal distributed data so you, you need to require or to call the stats package into your studio then again you have to use uh, function flinger.test then you have to write here and indicate your data name as you as described here so type this one and run and lastly so the p-value is 0 0.3246 and it suggests that there is equality of uh, variance so thank you for watching and if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can use my email as usual at jira.tasfahun at gmail.com or alternatively you have to use the YouTube comment box. Thank you.